Matthew chapter 20. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire labourers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the labourers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour, and saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that ye shall receive. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the labourers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. And when they came, that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the goodness of the house, saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. But he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that thine ears and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil because I am good? So the last shall be the first, and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. If we start to think about the spiritual sense of this parable, we learn a very interesting and important lesson about regeneration. Let's for a minute start to go deeper into the parable. And let's begin by saying that the labourers are not persons or people, but rather principles. The day is not to be understood as a period of time, but rather a state of life. And similarly, hours, not divisions of time, but successive states of regeneration. The Lord asks, are there not twelve hours in the day? He meant the whole of the regenerate life. Twelve hours, particular states through which the regenerate pass. So those first hired signify principles first acquired and labourers last hired will be seen to signify the principles acquired last. So let's start to focus on the first principles. The first principles which are acquired, they're general and they're not really in the capacity to receive or to practice the truths of religion, not at that particular point. And there's one feeling which gets in the way, and that is seeking for merit. This is the proprium. The proprium, love of the self and love of the ways of the world. And this is very deep-rooted 
in all of us. It's easy to read a book about the proprium, about the ego, and to decide that we're going to move beyond the proprium or the ego. It's one thing to understand it intellectually, it's quite another to live it and to practice it. But there is some good in at least us attempting to embark upon the path. But we have to be careful that theoretical understanding is different from a whole body realisation. And the nature and effects of seeking merit are described in the murmuring of the labourers first, first hired. They complained. They'd been working all day. Those who were hired throughout the day had not done so much labour. But nonetheless, they were made equal. And those who were hired in the eleventh hour obviously would have done a lot less work. But this was a more advanced state towards that of regeneration. And let's not forget that the contract was made with those who were hired first. There was an agreement, an agreement for which they would be paid, an agreement that they would labour for the day and be paid. But no the contract or agreement was made with any of the other hired labourers. Whatsoever is right, I will give you. And so it is with spiritual labourers that the Lord receives into his vineyard. Now some are influenced by the desire for merit. We see this within the various churches where vestments, rich, ornate, are worn. And rather they represent an inner teaching, they don't. The person wearing these is full of pride and full of arrogance. They have their own reward. But we're only human. And to search for merit is acceptable, provided we acknowledge that this is the proprium. More blessed are those who seek no merit, who are simply pleased and grateful for whatever the Lord would give. And if we start to go even deeper into the parable, we start to see certain numbers which are full of spiritual significance. Twelve relates to what is full. Number eleven, that which is approaching perfection. Interestingly enough, we have three, six and nine, all factors of three. And this is reference to the state or the principle of truth. The labourers hired have more reference to truth than good, more reference to faith than love. When goodness occupies the first, the highest place in the mind, and truth occupies the last or a subordinate place, then the first is last, and the last is first. But let me start to explain that in more detail. An inversion of the state takes place in the course of the regenerate life. Now, regeneration begins with reformation. And in reformation, truth is in the first place and good is in the second place. 
truth has to be acquired so that good can be known and cultivated. Again, in the reformative state, what proceeds from faith is something very important. When good and charity have been acquired, the state is changed. No longer does truth lead to good and faith to charity. Now we act from good by truth and from charity by faith. Good and charity are now principal and truth and faith instrumental. Charity is no more the handmaid of faith, but faith is the handmaid of charity. And subsequently, that which was first is last, and the last is first. So what we have in this parable is a plan. A plan of regeneration. The process of regeneration that we move state, that what we acquire in the first stages, we develop and transform so it becomes manifest in the later stages. And this is regeneration. The first is last and the last is first.